Hi, Neil here from Portainer. So today I'm going to give you a demonstration of how to use IP version 6 with Docker and Portainer. Just uh, one word of caution to begin with, just be a little bit careful with uh, IP version 6 and Docker Swarm. Uh, the overlay network and ingress network uh, load balancer uh, don't have great support for IP version 6. Uh, so this demonstration is going to focus predominantly on the bridge driver and the Mac VLAN driver. Anyway, let's get started. In front of me here, I have a Ubuntu host just running Docker. If I do a Docker info, just a standard environment. If I do a Docker network inspect bridge, you see here that we don't have any IP version 6 address assigned, and you see that IP version 6 is not enabled at current. So, how do we get it enabled? First of all, we have to go to etc docker, and we need to create ourselves the daemon.json file. So, sudo nano daemon.json and what we need to do is add in the entries that are required to enable IP version 6 and this is what they look like uh, the docker um, documentation says you just need the IPv6 true line uh, I've tried that and it doesn't work uh, you actually have to set the fixed CIDR and what this is this is the subnet that the docker daemon will use uh, to to assign IP addresses to containers that are put on the bridge network. Uh, I recommend that you have a unique subnet per Docker host. Uh, this is primarily because IP version 6 addresses are globally routable, uh, and so you can actually route uh, comms between hosts for containers, uh, very similar to what the overlay network does, and I'll show you that a bit later. Uh, and here, we are using the FD00 subnet, which is uh, IP version 6 speak for 172 or 192168. It's a private uh, address space that is used for internal use only. Um, that is a slash 8 subnet, uh, but Docker recommend using a slash 80, and I will show you why a bit later. So first things first, go to your favorite subnet calculator, uh, put in the FD00 subnet, change it from a subnet of 8, to a subnet of 80. Calculate. Show the networks. And you'll see here the first five octets, which is what is meant by slash 80, are the subnet, and the last three are the host, the host IPs. So you can see here, simply by incrementing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 extra, uh, you will basically get a different subnet. So for host number one, we're going to use FD00001. Host number two, we use two, host number three, three, and so on. So we'll just save that. System CTL restart Docker. And if we do the same Docker network inspect bridge, see here now we have an IP version 6 address assigned, and you'll see we have enable IP version 6 set to true. Now if I come to a Portainer instance that I have running on that host, and just log into it, over here, go to Networks, go to Bridge, you see here, here is the subnet enabled. If I go to Containers, add a container, HTTPD, and publish port 80, deploy. Uh, I can now go and get IP ADDR, and get Get to the IP address for the Docker host. In this case, it is this 2406 address. Now, if I come into my browser and put in the address, you'll see here it works. So I'm able to get to this. Now, I can't, I didn't expose HTTPS, so I can't, oops, can't do HTTPS in here like this. So, what about if I try and access the IP version 6 address? So if I scroll down here, you'll see here is my IP version 6 address. So let me copy that. Let me go into my browser. Oops, I need to just remove the extra spaces here. What happens? Nothing. Can't get to it. Now why? Because FD00 is a private subnet range. It's not, it's not routed anywhere. Uh, so in order for my, my Windows machine to be able to reach that subnet, I I have to create a static route for it. So how can I do that? I can go into Windows here and I can do a route add and I can put in the subnet that I used. 
which in this case is the f d zero zero colon zero colon zero colon zero colon one colon colon slash eighty and I need the IP address of the Docker host again. So come back in here and get the IP address of the Docker host. This one over here. And now come in here and refresh. And here you go, it works. The reason being, I now know that I can, or my, my Windows machine now knows how to reach that IP address. It'll first send the packets to the Docker host, and the Docker host will then forward it through to the actual underlying uh, container. Now, the other thing I can do is I can come into here, I can add a container. I can do HTTPD like this again. Uh, I'm not going to expose any ports this time. So here we go, so there's no ports exposed. So if I, if I come into this now and get the IP address of that one, come in again, see here it works. Now what does it work? Because we're routing, we're not we're not actually netting or, or doing anything with the, the container's IP address here. So if you, if you actually uh, enable routing into the container's uh, private uh, IP subnets, uh, there's no need to expose any ports out on the host. You can just use all of the internal host mappings like this and basically you can expose any port you feel like that way. Now, if we want to do something a bit, bit, bit smarter and we want to allow communications across hosts, what we need to do is bring up a second node. And so here's one I have here. So it's a docker, sudo nano daemon.json, same like before. We want the same entries as before. This time we want to use subnet 2 because this is another host. System CTL restart Docker. Uh, and I have again my Portainer instance running on this node. I'll just refresh that again. So on this node now we have bridge. Here we have subnet 2. So we can go into containers here. We can add a container. Uh, we can call this one. I'll just use just use the busy box container in it interactive and come into here and from here we can try pinging the containers IP address now again it was this IP address so copy that one come into here paste it now doesn't work. Now why does it not work? Because again, Docker Host 2 has no routes. It does not know how to get to this private subnet uh, on Docker Host 1. So we can we can address that pretty easily uh, on Docker Host 2. We need to create some static routes. So the first thing we want to do is create a static route over here. And we want again host 1's IP address. So come up and get host 1's IP address. So here it is here. Okay, so now host2 knows how to get to host1's private subnet via host1's IP address, IP ADDR. So now on host1, we want to do the same thing. We want to do the, for subnet2, and we want host2's IP address. Uh, this is it here. And you'll see here immediately in the background, we're now getting pings from a container. So we've got a container on running on host 2, pinging a container on host 1 uh, through container private IP to container private IP. Now if I want to do something like have a look at curl. So with curl now running here, we can come into here. We can do a curl and we can paste in the IP address of the container. Again, copy that. 
copy that. Oops, so now again, it's IP version 6, so we have to add the brackets in. And we also have to add in a minus G and a minus 6 for this to work properly. But there we go. So now we have curl running in a container on host 2, accessing port 80 on a container on host number 1. Uh, using the using the IPS6 address. So we've not done anything here with the host addresses. This is just container to container. So this is very, very similar to the way overlay networking works, except here it is not using any uh, overlay VXLAN. This is just routing between containers. Now we can actually take this a step further and also use, use a Mac VLAN. So whilst this is actually routing into containers. If we want to use Mac VLAN, we can actually do a layer 2 pass through and give containers an actual IP address on the underlying network. So again, if we go to add network and we want to add a network Mac VLAN config, Mac VLAN driver, uh, this is ENS160. Now the subnet on my network is actually a 56 address. So here it is here. And again, Docker wants a slash 80 address. So I take this, take this subnet over here, go back to my subnet calculator, and put in my address, changes to an 80, click calculate. And you see here, these are the IP address ranges here. So what I want to do is actually take one of the address ranges and use this for the Mac VLAN on this host. So I'm going to use this subnet here. In fact, we can just use one. And now the reason why we want to use a subnetted subnet is because there are other hosts on my network that have been assigned IP addresses out of this base range. And there's a very high likelihood of getting an IP clash, especially because Docker assigns IP addresses quite sequentially. So we need to be a little bit careful here. So we want to make sure that we've got a, a, a subnetted subnet. So we've got a range of IPs dedicated for Mac, Mac VLAN. So I create this. VLAN, Mac VLANs, time I want to create it. Based on this config, I'm going to allow containers to attach, create. I go to containers, add a container, busy box. Oops, deploy it. So here it is here. If I click into this now, oops, you'll see here, I need to just redeploy that, remove it. I forgot to put it on the Mac VLAN network. So let me do that again. Busy box. Directive network this time, put it on Mac VLAN. Deploy. Now this time, if I come in here, you'll see we've got an IP address on my actual underlying network. So I can come into here, I can console, and I can ping minus six, and I can just go and ping a, an IP address out there on the network. So let's just go and ping something random on the internet. Here we go. And so here we go, we're getting, we're basically pinging a device out there on the internet uh, from this machine using IP version six. So that's a pretty, pretty simple view of how to use Mac VLAN. Now, if we, if we want to go one step further and actually uh, try and expose a container here, so we can go add a container, HTTPD. Uh, we will put this on the Mac VLAN network, deploy it. So you'll see here, here is now web server. You come down here, grab this IP address, come up to my browser, Put in the IP address of that, and there we go. So using the IP address of the container, I was able to access the HTTP service that is running on it through Mac VLAN. So that is a, a very, very nice and easy way to get IP version 6 running inside Docker, controlled with Portainer. Uh, this is running on Portainer 1.24 